All right, Nathan Cox here. Guys, thanks for joining me uh, for this tile installation series. This part, we are mixing the thin set mortar. Some people just call it mortar. It's actually a thin set mortar because it can go a lot thinner than standard mortars, but whatever, your tile mortar, all right? So we're gonna need a five gallon bucket, really best thing to have, and have a beater on a drill, all right? Let me tell you real quick, a lot of people out there, they might have a nice cordless drill, but it's probably not a heavy duty cordless drill, okay? Or heavy duty drill. See this big, this is a mortar uh, paddle, okay? It's a big mixer for mortar. This is a heavy duty drill. It's got the strength to turn this without burning the drill up, okay? If you just have a regular drill, you might even use a quarter drill if you got one, but you might be better off with a paint mixer. One of the wire ones, I'll throw a picture up here as we're talking. That has less resistance on it. It'll still mix the mortar up, but this big paddle like this really pushes a lot of mortar, mixes up mortar great, if you have the right drill to go with it. Okay, so how to mix this up. Now the bag will tell you how much water to put for the, you know, it says that this bag requires so many gallons of water, whatever, you put that in there and mix the whole bag up. Trust me, unless you're a professional or you have a team of people, you're not gonna lay this mortar down in time before it sets up. So you just need to mix up small batches at a time, okay? Now you can, <coughs> you can try to take a guess of, you know, like, well, I'm gonna mix up like a third of the bag, so I'll use a third of the water. And you can take a good guess, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it, is I just do it by, um, by consistency. I just check it out as I go. Plus I have a decent idea how much water is gonna require anyways. Adding the water first is really a good thing, because if you don't, if you put the mortar in first and then add the water, your drill really is not gonna cut through this, okay? Okay, I'm not making up a huge batch here, so let's add a little bit of this mortar here. Oops. Okay, and let's get to mixing. For those of you who have never mixed up things like this, like drywall mud or anything like that, you might look at the instructions and try to gauge how much water you're gonna put in there. Because if you have too much water, you're gonna have soup, okay? Trust me, we do soup on my cooking channel. This is not the place for soup. See that? We're getting pretty close. Let's mix it up here for a minute. A lot of times the instructions on a bag of thin set mortar will tell you to mix it up, wait about 10 minutes, kind of stir it up again and see where it's at. Because it helps to get everything kind of binding and, and all together. And then it tells you the real good idea where the thickness really is, okay? Versus just your initial like whipping it up. You can see how it's holding to the, uh, the paddle there. It's not so thick that it's dry, but it's thick enough where it doesn't just drip right off like soup, okay? That's pretty darn good right there, and it's gonna thicken up just a hair in the next 10 minutes. So that gives you a good idea. Like I said, you can see the speed to which it's dripping off of the uh, paddle that gives you a good idea about how thick it is. You can always, always stick your hand in there. You feel like, you know, it feels kind of like uh, mud, but stickier because it does have adhesives in there. Um, other than that, we're done and ready to, to lay some tile. Let's, let's spread this out and lay some tile. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out the website, greatwhiteninja.com. And remember, there will be links in the description down below for the entire tile installation series. Thanks again, guys.